Hey, hey, everybody. Quick story on, uh, I guess I'm going to say Khloe Kardashian, Tristan Thompson, and one of Tristan's brothers, um, Deshaun Thompson. You know, the brother is pissed. Because he's claiming that Khloe Kardashian and the Kardashians are using the death of his mother as a storyline. Now, you know, there's many ways to see this situation. And, you know, for those that probably, because there's a lot of people that cannot stand the Kardashians. And for those that can't stand the Kardashians, they'll probably say, you know what? Yeah, she's using this as a storyline. But for those who maybe think beyond the way they feel about Khloe or the Kardashians, you may say that, you know what? This is simply a very nice gesture um, from someone else because no matter what age you are, when you lose your parents, it's devastating. It's heartbreaking. And many people almost kind of never get over it. They continue to exist. But every now and then when the memory pops in their head, they're like, oh, my God, I miss my mom. I miss my dad, okay? And the younger you are, I think the more difficult it is. The older you are, you do come to grips with one day your parents are going to be gone, but you never, you know, can plan or prepare for that day. Now, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. <laughs> Now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and share this screen with y'all. So let's get right into this article because the brother is pissed, okay? So Tristan Thompson's brother seemingly accuses Khloe Kardashian of using mom Andrea's death as a storyline, okay? Um, you know, very sad. Their mother passed, and their mother passed unexpectedly. And, you know, sometimes you can get a better grip around it if you know the person was sick, um, even though you'll never be ready. But if you know they have some type of illness like cancer and you just know, like, the end is near, um, you can be a little bit more prepared. But when it just happens out of nowhere, um, it's, it's even more devastating, okay? So Tristan Thompson's brother seemingly accused Khloe Kardashian and her family of using Using mom's Andrea Thompson's death as a storyline for the Kardashians. Death for a storyline? Mm. Okay. The Zom Chanson 28 wrote via Instagram story on Thursday. He said, don't believe everything you see or hear on social media. 95% of it is a lie, he wrote in a second story. The song remarks ironically comes hours after Hulu dropped the latest episode of the reality show, which touched on Andrea's passing. Okay. Tristan found out that his mom had had a heart attack. It shook up his entire world. Khloe Kardashian's sister, Kim Kardashian, 42, explained in Thursday's episode. Um, so, of course, we drop everything and we go to Toronto. It's not even a question. I'll be there. So, here's the thing. Although Khloe and Tristan had this and maybe still have or maybe don't, I don't know, you know, you know, back and forth in their relationship. Um, he cheated, things went on, things happened. Normally, friends, um, even though they may be pissed at you, if they find out, oh my God, someone close to you has passed, like they drop all of that. They put all that to the side. You know what? Yeah, I was pissed at her, but this is serious. Her mother passed, or her dad passed, or so forth and so on. So I can clearly see um you know, not even think about a storyline, how just because this is the father to their sister's children and for Chloe, this is the father to her kids, 
something happened to him that's devastating, you're going to be there, right? So, but the brother is pissed. He said, death for a storyline? Mm, okay. So the 28-year-old said the reality stars were using Andrea Thompson's death as a storyline. Don't believe everything you see on here on social media. 95% is a lie. That's what he put in his stories, okay? In another clip, the Good American founder is playing that she stepped in as support system for the father of her two kids and cleaned Andre's apartment, turned off the phone and credit cards, and figured out her life insurance policy. Now, let me be clear. When someone passed, um, especially if you just, first of all, your mind is clouded if that person is related and close to you. And this is his mom, okay? And if you don't know, if nobody ever taught you, you may not know, okay, how do I, do, did my mom have a policy? Because if your parents didn't tell you, how would you know? You're like, well, did my mom have a policy? If she did, where is it? Um, what do I do next? How do I handle this? How do I close everything out? How do I go to the funeral home and, you know, prepare um, for her funeral? Some people just don't know. And if you never did it before, it's very overwhelming. And then it's overwhelming in a time period in which you have to mourn your mother's passing and then try to handle all of her business, okay? Additionally, she also arranged to bring Tristan's brother, Amari, who suffers from epilepsy, to the Los Angeles so he could live with the NBA star 32, Tristan, who is the oldest of four, was named Amari's legal guardian after Andrea's death. So now you're dealing with your mom's death. And not for nothing, I'm not trying to shade Tristan, but Tristan doesn't really, you know, I don't know about Chloe's kids, but before that, the other children, all the children is like, he's not the primary caretaker, their mothers are. So now he, all of a sudden, your mom is gone and you are now legal guardian of your um, brother, you know, who has disabilities. That's a lot, people. It's a lot, right? So she stepped in and she helped out. She helped them navigate all of this craziness during a very trying time in his life. And I know the brother is pissed, but she said she helped clean out the apartment and all that stuff. I'm not trying to be shady here. I'm asking the question. Where was the brother when all of this was going down? Was he there helping to clean up the apartment? Um, was he there trying to help sort out, you know, the phone, um, uh, the phone line and the credit cards and the insurance policy? And in addition to that, did he say, you know what, I'll step in and come over to your house sometime, big bro, to help take care of our brother? I don't know. These are just questions I have. Do you have any questions? OK. OK. So now she said, I'm grateful that I'm strong enough and brave enough to be a support system for someone else that has no other support system right now. Chloe 39 said in the episode, I, I think I gathered this from Chloe because of, you know, the men in her past. Um, what is his name? Lamar Odom, who struggled with substance abuse. I feel like Chloe is one of those people. Um, she has this caretaker energy. Now, listen, guys, I'm not going to deny and fight about the things she did in the past, the things she did to other people. All of that is true. All of that is true. But two things can be true at once, right? She has this caretaker energy and the energy comes out for those that she want to take care of. And for whatever reason, she's extremely connected to the father of her children, Tristan Thompson. And so, you know, he's going through this trying time and she's going to be there. Now, I could be off. Y'all chat with me in the comments, okay? Now, let's continue here. Um, the reality star later stated that she left Tristan and Amari move in with her after the athlete's roof caved in on his home. Page six reached out to Chloe for a comment on Deshaun's accusation, but did not immediately hear back from her. Okay. In January, Andrea went into cardiac arrest, that's Trisha's mom, at her home and could not be resuscitated at the time. Page six was told that the mom's death was unexpected, right? Um, Chloe and her on again and off again, ex Tristan, who she adored a true five and son Tatum one, took a private jet from Los Angeles to Toronto to be with his family. Despite the song's claims, Amari seems to be fitting in with his ascended family just fine. On Thursday, Chloe shared pictures of the teen celebrating his birthday at a party she threw in her Los Angeles home. Listen, storyline or not, 
Um, Amari, who's 17, is benefiting from this situation. He seems to be happy being taken care of. And I'm not, this part, I'm not shading Tristan, but there are people that just can't take care of kids by themselves, period. Um, and to probably be able to take care of his brother, Amari, by himself, um, it might have been a, a, a lot on him, especially for it to have to happen all of a sudden, right? So if Chloe can step in and help take care of Amari, so be it. Let the nannies over there at the Kardashian house, you know, take care of Omari. Um, someone is 17 today. Happy birthday, sweet, sweet Omari. We are all so blessed to have been touched by angels such as you. You are truly one of God's greatest treasures. She captioned in the post. Tristan was also present for the festivities and posted a photo of himself sitting next to his little brother. Happy birthday to my sweet baby brother, Amari. I love you forever. We missed you, mommy. The basketball player captioned in the picture. So listen, guys, I'm here for it. Do I think that they use it as a storyline? Perhaps. But you know what? When they say reality shows, right, you're supposed to be given your real life. And in real life, she's helping Trisha. In real life, she's back with Trisha. In real life, Amari and Trisha are in her home. Okay, they're living there. So I don't know, guys. Y'all chat with me in the comments and let me know your thoughts, how you feel on this situation. Do you think the brother's comments were warranted? Or do you think, you know, that he's doing too much? Because at least at the end of the day, his little brother is in a good home. He's being taken care of. Um, he had, wants for nothing and all is well. So storyline are just a nice gesture. Y'all let me know. Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Don't forget, hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber and everybody else, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.